there's already enough pressure on the world of outlaw tour and to be a professional and to be successful that pressure is already put on you by the industry by yourself um, you add the pressure of needing to forge your own path and your own uh, legacy it could either make you or break you Your dad raced, or maybe your big brother raced, or even your grandfather raced, and they had a great legacy. There's got to be some of that pressure, even if it's strictly on your own. It's a big deal, obviously, for Jack and for Jack fans, uh, but it's a big deal to Sheldon. And I think it's it's not just, you know, I saw dad master it, right? It's a want to do it for himself. You know, I think going forward, it's it's better for me as a driver knowing that, yeah, the things worked in the past, uh, they worked, but you know, you, you think you can always be better, so. After multiple years of either rain or snow, we can once again finally say that we are ready to go racing here at the US 36 Raceway in Osborne, Missouri with the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series. Let's see, back to the last time we were here in 2020, the last lap passed by Sheldon Hodgshield over at Brad Sweet. Now, speaking of Hodgshield, he's the final thing on today's rundown. Uh, these next two weekends will be crucial for Sheldon Hodgshield to see how much speed they actually have in that 17 car. Now, he's got seven top tens in 10 starts, but uh, this could be a big night for him. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The excitement level when Sheldon is on the racetrack is like nobody else. No matter what, if you're a fan of sprint car racing, you're going to get your money's worth when he's doing his thing. This place can get in your head a little bit. I think all high-speed racetracks have that ability to play with your mind a little because the stakes are pretty high. For me, US 36 is my style, right down my alley for sure. And some nights, just when your car is operating, where you almost can just toy with guys. Quick time! Quick time for Shelton Hot and Shelton the 17. We are under green flag conditions in the final heat race of the night. Sheldon Hodgeshield to the early lead. Bronx here, Foss in second and coming after Hodgeshield to peek to the inside. Can't make a move entering turn three. He'll go down low out of turn number four. Sheldon Hodgeshield with the lead, but Bronx here, Foss right there with him. Checkered flag set to wave at the line. Sheldon Hodgeshield barely over Bronx here, Foss. Now, when it comes to driver safety, only the best will do. But some just seem to do it better than others.
it's, it's something about riding a motorcycle that just kind of soothes the mind. You're out there on the open road and you're just kind of daydreaming in a way that to most people it's scary, not to me. It's how my brain works. I'll get to a point where I don't even know what I'm doing until the first swipe of a pencil. So I don't know if I'm the one that's creating art or if art is creating me. There's a lot of things I love about this career, but there's one thing that stands out to me, and that's me getting to put my heart and soul into something. And it goes on this journey, and it puts a timestamp on their career. And that's something that lasts forever. Sheldon's a one-of-a-kind guy. I mean, he literally goes out there and paints beautiful lines with his race car, just like I paint beautiful lines with my airbrush. You don't know what's going to happen when he goes out there. You know, he's going to run 30 laps, and, and it's the same thing with me. I don't know how this helmet's going to turn out, you know, until I get into it. The fact that Sheldon and I both create something. There's something very special in the moment. One thing leads to another, which leads to another. And next thing you know, you've created this piece that almost sometimes I, I surprise myself. You think it's supposed to look a certain way, but it turns out being better than what it's supposed to be. And those are the ones that are different from all the other ones. And starting on the pole tonight from Worcester, Ohio, in the Novus Energy Drink, number 17, Sheldon Hodenshi. 24 cars going 35 times around this high bank bull ring. Yeah, 35 laps upcoming, John. This is going to be some great racing. If I had to put a bet on it, I would say this could be the best race we've seen all season long so far for the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series, and it hasn't even started yet. Sheldon's on a 26 race winless streak right now in that 17 car. And I talked about it during the Rodman rundown these next two weeks, Peevely and here tonight at US 36 could be a good testing uh, ground here for that car to see where their speed's at. Obviously, uh, a Hodden Shield goes well at US 36. It's been proven. 2006, um, his dad wins in dramatic fashion. Very first time at that track. Uh, Sheldon, 2020, beats Brad Sweet. He is not having a banner year. He is looking to rebound a US 36 with uh, a quality run. It remains to be seen. NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series. Carson Macedo with the jump grabs the early race lead. Sheldon Hodgeschild in second, David Gravel third, Brock Zierfoss fourth as they complete the opening lap. The main key there is uh, 
jumping on it when when you need to and kind of keep them guessing. Um, you know, like Macedo that night, uh, we kept getting under him in, in turn three, but um, we were getting under him in turn three because we were ripping the top in turn three the lap before and, and just rolling one and two smooth. So. Up high in one and two, looking for that run. He's got another one down the back straightaway. Looks to the inside this time. Wheel to wheel, racing for the lead. Out of quarter number four, Carson Macedo hangs on to the race lead, but Sheldon Hodges is right there with him. Yeah, we were really good at the start of the feature and uh, had a couple restarts there, and I, I feel like both uh, of my restarts were bad. And, Sheldon Hodgeshill, David Gravel gets by for second, at least for the moment. Hodgeshill with another run, Gravel challenging Macedo for the lead, side by side into turn three and four, three car battle for the lead out of the fourth time. You know, tight quarters there, so when you do pull the trigger, it's a uh, full commit. Macedo keeps the top spot, but Gravel is right there with him, looking for a slider in one and two. David Gravel, the new race leader, Macedo with a run on him into three and four. Macedo back to the point, and now Hodgeshill trying to sail around the hole in three wide for the lead. Me, the 41, and the two were, were three wide on the front stretch there. And, um, I think I literally turned right just to make sure I didn't hit any of them guys. And yeah, US 36 is intense, and uh, especially when you got guys like the 41 and Gravel who are on it. There's just something about these tracks where you have to go above and beyond your comfort level that Sheldon just seems to shine at. It's just his thing. If it comes down to a game of we all have to get uncomfortable, who's gonna go fast? That's Sheldon Hoddenshield. Carson Macedo to the inside of Sheldon Hoddenshield looking for the lead. He'll take it out of turn two. Macedo back to the point. Sheldon looking to his inside. Macedo trying to slam the door, but Sheldon has the room for the slide job. Macedo back underneath him, but Sheldon Hoddenshield maintains the lead. And Brad Sweet now third. Macedo again looking for the lead with a slide job in one and two. Carson Macedo downstairs now to slam the door on the NOS Energy Drink 17. Carson Macedo out in front on lap number 16. You have to take a little reset once that happens. You know, the two and the 41 got got me, and um, then it's then it's a whole different race. You know, the whole start of that race we were leading, and and uh, you know it's just a whole different mindset. Uh, once you get behind two really fast guys, and it's all right. Now we got to figure out how we're going to get back around these guys, and yeah, I think just not giving up and, and figuring it out. Sweet, but here comes Macedo one more time. Carson Macedo back of the lead, and now Sheldon Hodgeshill gaining on both of them as they cross the start finish line. Seven laps to go. Sheldon looking for the top spot again as he moves to the inside of the big cat. Sheldon Hodgeshill back to second, and now works the top side at three and four. I don't make it easy on myself all the time, and it's good for the fans a lot of the times, uh, which I enjoy too. Uh, you know, they're there to see a show, and, and we give them that. Hodgeshield back to second and now works the top side in three and four. Sheldon Hodgeshield to the inside in turn one. Sheldon back out in front in turn two. Macedo trying to race back at him on the inside, but Sheldon's got the spot. Out of turn four, down across the start finish line. We've got five laps to go. Happy 65th birthday, Wild Town. Your son just schooled him in Osborne, Missouri. You know, as a fan, I think that's what I would want to see. And I think just the not giving up and, and being positioned where we're at a lot of times is uh, a perfect recipe for, for things that happen. About time, huh? You're the man. <laughs> Those are the kind of monumental moments in an athlete or race car driver's career when he finds out who he really is, when he's really put to the test. Being a hot and shield, you're expected to do legendary things.